Leave insert higher level maths 2024. This is the solution video to paper one, question seven. So question seven is a nice financial maths question. So Fia has a gross annual salary of 54,000 euro. She pays income tax at a rate of 20% on the first 40,000 of her salary and 40% on the remainder. She's an annual tax credit of 1,775. So she gets that back uh, after her tax is taken out. Uh, work out her net annual pay, assuming there's no other deductions. So just her after tax pay. So we do 40,000 by 20. So that's 40,000 times 0 0.2. Uh, we'll add to that uh, the remainder, which is 14,000 times 0 0.4. So that gives us the gross tax. That's 13,600. Uh, we take away the tax credit. So minus 1,775. That gives you 11,825. And then you just take that off her gross salary. So 54,000 minus 11,825 gives you 42,175. So nice, easy start to that question. You're getting 10 out of 50 for doing that. Part B then. So Fia and her partner take out a 25 year mortgage with a monthly interest rate, monthly, very important, monthly interest rate of 0.279%. They make equal monthly repayments of €1,674.75 at the end of each month. They make the first repayment exactly one month after they take out the mortgage. Write down the present value of each of their first three monthly repayments at the time uh, when they take out the mortgage. Give each value of a fraction and do not multiply out any powers which makes it easier for you so the monthly repayment is 1647 euro 75 cent to get the present value one month from now simply divide by the interest rate as a decimal uh, plus one so it'd be 1.00279 that's the first one the second month then will be €1,647.75 divided by the same thing but to the power of 2, 1.00279 to the power of 2. And then the third one, because they want the first three month monthly repayments, €1,647.75 divided by 1.00279 to the power of three. And that's worth six marks for the first part of part B. The second part, work out the amount of money that Fia and her partner borrowed for their mortgage and give your answer correct to nearest uh, euro. So you can do this in two ways. You can use the S of N formula or the amortization formula. I, I, thought, I think the easiest way or the easier way is to use the amortization formula for this. So we have um, A, 1,647.75 is equal to P. That's what we're looking for, times. Uh, so we have our percentage rate 0 0.00279 times 1 plus the percentage rate, so one point zero zero two seven nine to the power of the amount of repayments it's 300 re repayments uh, 25 times 12 i think it was um it was a 25 year more just so 25 times 12 300 uh, repayments so to the power of 300 um and then we divide by uh, 1.00279 to the power of 300 and minus one. So filling it all in, isolate P on its own. P is gonna be equal to this divided by this and you'll be able to put that into your calculator. So 1647.75 divided by everything that's in that bracket there. I won't write it all in. You can 
put it into your calculator, double check that you do get the right answer. To the nearest euro, you should get P is equal to 334,563. If you're not getting that answer, you're probably typing something into the calculator uh, in an incorrect way. So just be very careful because there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of places you could make errors. So it's this divided by this. You should get that answer there. That's worth nine marks there for the second part of B. For part C then, if FIA puts money in a savings account and leaves it there for a number of years, the following expression, F of T, the amount of money in the account after T years, where T is an element of or and it's greater than or equal to zero. So the function is F of T is equal to 5,000 times E to the 0 0.04 T. Use this expression to answer parts C, 1, 2, and 3. So use differentiation to find the rate at which uh, the amount of money in the account is increasing after three and a half years. Give your answer correct to the nearest euro per year. So use differentiation. We've got to differentiate that. So F prime of T is equal to, well, when we differentiate an exponential function, you multiply down by the uh, coefficient here so 0 0.04 so 0 0.04 times 5000 e to the 0 0.04 t like that um, and then we can sub in 3.5 so f prime of 3.5 and if you want you can multiply the 0 0.4 and 5000 you don't have to you can just put it all into the calculator later in one go so 0 0.04 times 5,000 e to the 0 0.04 times 3.5. And in your calculator it goes, you should get 230 euro per year. So that is the rate at which it is uh, increasing after three and a half years. And that's worth 10 marks. Let's flick over then to the next part of C. Use integration to find the average amount of money in the account over the first five years. Give your answer correct to the nearest euro. Remember that the amount of money in the account after T years is F of T. So they're just giving you the, the function again. So use integration to find the average amount. So that's the average value formula. So it's for five years. So that's integrating between 0 and 5. So 1 over b minus a is 1 over 5 uh, times the integral from 0 to 5 of 5000 e to the 0 0.04 t dt. Now you can take the 5000 outside of the integral and multiply it by the 1 fifth to get 1000. So it's 1000 uh, times the integral of this. I'm going to go integrate it now. Um, so the integral of e to the 0 0.04 t is e to the 0 0.04 t divided by 0 0.04. And that's going to be evaluated between 0 and 5. So then that is equal to 1000 times um, e to the power of 0 0.04 times 5 over 0 0.04 minus e to the power of 0 0.04 uh, times 0 all over 0 0.04 and you can pop that into your calculator um, and do it all in one go if you like you'll get an answer of 5,535 euro. Um, that is the average amount in the account uh, over the first five years. And that's worth 10 marks. And the last part of that question then, C part three, work out the annual rate of interest or the AER for this account. We're given the monthly, um, monthly one initially, um, that is find a percentage increase in the amount of money in the account over the course of one year. Give your answer as a percentage. Again, there's a couple of ways you can do this, but the easiest way is actually just to say E. So we have the 
f of t, just to explain it, f of t is equal to 5,000 multiplied by e to the 0 0.04 t. Well, 5,000 is how much she put into the account, and we're multiplying by this much each year. So that's the rate of interest per year. So it's e to the power of 0 0.04 times 1 for one year, which works out to be 4.08%. And that's worth five marks there at the end. Okay, so if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.